Hello, hello, hello! What's up tonight, everyone? Most of the time, you're seeing the very first matches I've ever played with a deck. On stream, even in videos sometimes, this deck I've actually played quite a bit of. Because I like this deck, this is a deck that I've played as, like, what am I for fun decks at various points, so I actually am pretty familiar and comfortable with how Blue White Amiria works, which isn't always the case with our stream decks. It's a little bit like the Much Brew deck we played this weekend. Has a lot of the same stuff. Lone Missionaries, Walls of Omen, Flicker Wisp for value, Sun Titan Engine to get back Flicker Wisp to Flicker Sun Titan for even more value. But then we have some good blue elements. Uh, we have Corazar, which is really key to the deck. This is a card that goes in the Renegade Rallier slot. So we, instead of hoping we have Revolt, hoping something of value died to get it back, Corsar just cycles through our deck. It's like an anticipate on a body, and we can even have it go to the graveyard if we don't spend um, white man on it, which we can sometimes do. We have enough dual lands with our hollow fountains and stuff that in the late game we can intentionally let it die, use it like a weird, expensive anticipate, and then get it back with Sun Titan. Uh, get it back with our Emiria and grind out value that way. Pilgrim's Eye, make sure we hit our land drops. A uh, new addition is Spreading Seas. Before we had the blue spell bomb. Uh, we had two of those. Spreading Seas, I think, is better. Ether Spell Bomb was good against, uh, like, Infect and Prowess and decks like that that were going all in on one creature. Because it just sits out on the battlefield and then you can bounce that creature. Spreading Seas, though, is better against Tron, better against Eldrazi, uh, those type of decks which are being more power, uh, popular. Sideboard, Stony Silences, Core Firewalkers, Relics for Graveyard, Ley Lines for Protection, more, uh, Disruption, Worship, of course. So, anyway, let's get to it. Get into a modern league. Uh, Wall of Omens. Well, can we live long enough? This is a two-turn clock, so I think we gotta draw something next turn. Alright, down to eight. Come on, deck. Oh, okay. Come on, no creature removal. <laughs> Come on, little lone missionary. It's all up to you, buddy. It's all up to you. Stay on the battlefield for us. No vapor snags. No vapor snags. Oh, if we live one more turn, then we can start playing Pilgrim's Eyes and Walls. <laughs> Come on, lone missionary. You can do it. You can do it. <laughs> all right, we're down to one. Come on, no dismembers. Yes, okay. So, let's play Wall of Obits. That's another creature. <laughs> yes. And we'll <laughs> Oh, that worship was so clutch. <laughs> oh, we get the Pilgrim's Eye out, get another lad. Now I feel a little more stable. Although, if our opponent still has exactly Vapor Snag, we could lose. Because that's loss of life. Well, let's play a Plains. Let's play a Wall of Omens. Actually, leaving up Ojitai's Command is a good way to beat a Vapor Snag. Ooh, Supreme Verdict. Well, if we can get our opponent to blow the relic, then I'll feel more comfortable Supreme Verdicting. Because we can get all our stuff back. We're up to five planes with our Emiria. Opponent exiles are Flooded Strad. All right, there's a Master of Waves. Now well, let's counter it. Another planes getting close. Getting close to our Emiria. And then our opponent has to blow the relic. So, one, two, three, four. All right, let's just go for it. Play our Sun Titan. Get back our Mortar Pod. See if this lets our opponent, makes our opponent. All right, Relic gone. That's fine. Hollowed Fountain, get in for one. That's actually really fine, because now we can just Supreme Verdict and then start getting everything back with Emiria. Although, that is risky, because we don't have any creatures and they have a Vial, but we'll see. All right, now we just want to start slamming stuff in there because we actually want our stuff to die so we can get it back. So we're hoping they block Lone Missionary or whatever because we'll have Emiria going. Yeah, Worship just says if a creature, if you control creature, damage that would reduce your life to less than one reduces it to one instead. Well, that's Pilgrim's Eye. Do we even have planes left? We might have one. All right, get a planes, play a planes. Amiria active, so now we get to start getting our stuff back, and 
I don't think we can lose from here. And we got a we got a win. Oh well, this looks like the kind of hand we're looking for. Noble High Arc for our opponent. How would that one go? Uh, I think the deck actually is good, but our performance tonight has only been middling, unfortunately. Is this gonna be a Geist? Oh, really? Already? Of course. All right, that's a Geist. I'll play for a Flooded Strand. Crag Flooded Strand. Get a Plains. Play Wall of Omens. Draw a card. Oh boy, so many paths in the Geist of Saint Traft meta. Opponent plays land, cracks it. Yeah, it's in, 4-4 four, four with the Geist. Down to 15, opponent passes. We do get a land, which is good. Well, let's loan Missionary. Pass the turn. I'm feeling a collected company. Yup, there it is. Mausoleum Wanderer. Okay, another selfless spirit. Good God, holy! All right, Dak, we are going to need some good running here. Opponent attacks with the Geist. Well, block Geist. Well, path selfless spirit. Wow, opponent lets it go. Okay, path selfless spirit. <clears throat> oh my goodness, we are so close. Oh. Do we just got a path right now? Hmm. All right, all right. I think we're just gonna pass. I think this is. I think this is fine. This also means if our opponent uh, has another self of spirit, we don't just lose. Opponent goes full out attack. Well, we block Geist. Take eight. I think our opponent has spell queller. I think we gotta go for it though. All right, you got a spell queller. Ooh, wow, no spell queller. Do you have a collected company? Question two. That would still be, oh, no collected company either. Whoo, are we stable? Did we get there? Wow. Kosali Pride Mage, we can deal with that. Well, Lone Missionary, or Pilgrim's Eye first, gets us a Plains, play the Plains, Lone Missionary, Lone Missionary actually is super essential. It might not look like it, but it is really important. Pony has Rattle Chains, only one card in hand, and we're a mana away from Sun Titan. One single mana. Oh, God. That's bad. That's... Oh, God. Well, that was quite the hit. Uh, now we're in a lot of trouble again. Wow. Okay. Well, we block. So we drop to nine. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I think that's all we can do. Hollow Fountain untapped. Play Sun Titan. Sun Titan back, our Pilgrim's Eye. Gets us a land. Pass the turn. Oh, wow. This is going to be close. Opponent gets in with all the flyers. Well, we got a jump. Take five. Hollow Fountain tapped. Well, get in with Sun Titan. Get back Pilgrim's Eye. Gets us a land. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. All right, play the planes. Pass the turn. Spell Queller is the card that really gets us. Steal of the Godhead. All right, well, Spell Queller's off the table. I guess they could have Negate. Two modes. They gotta have something, or else they wouldn't do this. Target player gains four life, opponent sacks a creature. We gain four life, you sack a creature. No negate! Oh, we are gonna, we're actually gonna get this! We're actually gonna win this game. It's actually happening. Uh, okay. Things are turning around. Well, we go attacking. Sun Titan Lone Missionary. Get back Lone Missionary. Go back up to 12. Opponent takes it down to 4. Sun Titan number 2. Get back a Flooded Strand. Hollowed Fountain. Tapped. Pass the turn. And I think we got there. We are going to grind out this win. Wow. We were right on edge. Ghost Quarter. That's actually sweet. Ghost Quarter. Let's see how many non-basics our opponent has. Oh, strip mine activated. 
We got the strip mine activated. Get back a ghost quarter. Get back a pilgrim's eye. Oh, we are in strip mine mode. That's the best time with this deck. Once we get to the point where ghost quarter is strip mine, everything is usually pretty sweet. <laughs> gotcha. <laughs> and our opponent scoops it up. Can't beat the strip mines. Can't beat them. We fell short of our treasure chest goal. Good news is, uh, we really only were beaten by Scapeshift. Yes, we lost to that Zoo deck, but that's a matchup that we, uh, will win 70, 75% of the time. Like, that's a great matchup for us. We just mulled the four and then ran poor, uh, in game two and then ran poorly in game three. Uh, in the Scapeshift matchup, I, I'm coming around on the idea that Surgical Extraction is a good answer. So, I think maybe Surgical's in the sideboard over the Relic of Progenitus, and I think that would go a long way towards shaping up that matchup. You can check out all the old streams on the MTG Goldfish Replay YouTube channel. And of course, the normal YouTube will have a new Against Odds tomorrow. We had a Budget Magic next uh, uh, last night, so make sure to check that out as well. And if you're looking for a way to support the stream and the channel and the site, other than subscribing, and big thanks to everyone that subbed tonight. There was a ton of subs. Thank you so much for that. Uh, but check out the merch page. Uh, anyway, everyone, thanks so much for hanging out. It was a lot of fun, and I will talk to you soon.